I'm Trisha from Waterford Library, and I'm here to give you the directions on how to make a jump rope out of plastic bags as part of our Make It Take It kit available Friday, June 24th, 2022. And that's a part of our Ocean Devotion Week in our Summer Reading Challenge. The plastic that we use today contains additives which make it really strong and flexible and durable, which we need in our plastic supplies. However, those same additives mean that plastic can take up to 400 years to decompose and become a part of our natural environment again. We need to find as many ways as we can to reuse or recycle the plastics that we, when we're done with them and we want to throw them away. So today, we're going to reuse the plastic bags that you get when you get to go to the grocery store or to Walmart, and we're going to make them into a jump rope. Inside your Make It Take It kit, you will find some directions. Those directions will have a QR code on it. Hopefully, that's how you found this video. Otherwise, we have it posted to the Waterford Library's YouTube channel. Inside your bag, you'll also find one of these, which is just a way to store some duct tape that you will need for this project. And you will find 21 plastic bags ready for you to use. The first step is to take all 21 of those bags and make them into loops like this one. So I'm going to pause the video and give you a chance to go and make all 21 of your bags into loops. Now that you've made all your bags into loops like these, we're going to connect them together. So you take one loop on the bottom, one loop, lay it over the top so that you can see both ends like this. And then you're going to bring the bottom loop up and the top loop under and pull your bag so that they make a knot. The tighter you pull it, the smaller the knot will be. Then you'll keep connecting your bags like this. Take this bag and pull it under and pull it tight so that there's a knot. Keep connecting your bags like these till you have three long strands with seven bags each. So I'm gonna pause the video to give you a chance to go make all of your loops into long strands of bags. Now that you should have three long strands of bags, seven bags each, ready to break together into your jump rope. The first thing we're gonna do is in your bag you have some duct tape. I already tore mine off to make it easier, but you're gonna take your end and you're going to wrap it up in some duct tape to make a handle. I'll pause the video while you make a handle on your jump rope. Now remember to only use some of your duct tape because you'll need the rest to make a handle on the other side. Once you have your one handle made, the easiest way to start braiding this is to find a friend or a grown-up. They'll hold it for you. Then, Take your three strands and do over the middle and the other end over the middle and pull it tight to get the arrow and then keep braiding all the way to the end. We'll pause the video again while you work on getting your jump rope braided. When you're all done braiding, you'll have this really long rope. And this little bit here at the end is where you're going to put your other piece of duct tape to make your other handle, just to hold it all together so it doesn't fall apart. It doesn't even need to be as big of a piece as I put on here. It could even be a little shorter. And then you are all done. And you can take your jump rope outside or share it with a friend and use it to jump rope. 